Good morning and thank you all for joining us at PAC Expo Connects. I'm Megan Fletcher, the Market Development Manager at AUSID, and before we get started, I'd like to give a brief overview of AUSID for those of you who may not be familiar with who we are. AUSID is a product brand of Promoc, and we are part of the Flexible and Trays business line. AUSID started in the 1970s repairing overwrap machines and eventually evolved into a leading tray overwrap manufacturer by the 1990s. Our 500E in-seal overwrap machine gained much popularity within the poultry industry as this format now offered retailers a leak-resistant package. We later began to design and engineer weight price labeling equipment as well as custom thermoforming machines primarily used in the medical industry. While this provided a great range of equipment solutions for many years, we realized that trends in packaging were continuing to change and that we needed to provide additional solutions for our customers and retailers. Many retailers began to push their sustainability goals and initiatives on suppliers for more eco-friendly or green style packaging. This led us to partner with Repack, a leading manufacturer of food packaging equipment from Italy. Repack has allowed us to expand our equipment solutions to include tray sealers, standard thermoformers, vacuum chamber machines, as well as flow wrapping equipment. Today, AUSID is your single source supplier of food and medical device packaging, as well as whey price labeling machines and case scales. We are located in North Carolina and we provide all parts, installation, training, and service to our customers. If you have any questions following the demo, please be sure to reach out to us on our Osage showroom at the PAC Expo Connects website. Thank you and we hope you enjoy the demo. Hi, my name is Chad Deaton. I'm the product line manager here at Osage for our thermal forming and tray sealing department. Today I would like to go over our 8000M medical machine. As you can see, the 8000M has a polycarbonate housing for easy access to be able to see everything that's going on. It's really nice for maintenance to be able to troubleshoot and to look into the machine, as well as seeing product running through the machine. Let's first check out the forming section of the 8000M. The forming section has a web alignment tool with a closed loop system that's constantly keeping the web centered into the change with like an ultrasonic sensor looking for the edges. We also have a static eliminator that helps to keep particles from attaching to the web, which is much easier down the line to keep uh, dirt and everything off of it. We also use an analog feedback onto the machine so that we can tell you the diameter of the rolls so it alerts the operator to let you know when the rolls are low and or critically low. If they are critically low, we take the machine to a controlled stop, which in turn gives the operator time to respond. Here we have a manual splice table. The manual splice table is used so that you could put constant pressure onto the web, be able to pull the tape out, splice it onto it, and release it without losing any tension onto the web dancer. This makes splicing in the new rolls much quicker and easier. We also have a splice detection onto it to allow the operator and or tracking of the machine to know when a splice is going through the machine so that we are able to reject that particular index. Here you'll see the preheat station that heats the uh, film prior to going into forming. What this does is allows it for more of a speed to preheat index into the next forming station. Once it gets into forming, it uses a clamp method to clamp the bottom die to the top die and use a vacuum system to form the pockets individually. Forming station can be either simple vacuum, it can have air assist over top, and or can also use plug assist. Plug assist can either be pneumatic or super driven, depending on the thickness of the product and the speeds that we are trying to achieve. The hinge tooling is great for an operator and our maintenance to be able to look to see what's going on inside of it. Easily hinged, easily latched into place so that it goes. 
chill station is used for chilling the form so that they hold their form, their shapes much better instead of shrinking up. Uh, we also have a leak detect station under this one looking for deformities in the plastic or a hole that could potentially be into it. Our press system is servo actuated for a precision movement onto the machine. We also have a counterbalance type thing going on so that we can go up and down really good speeds. We also have the ability to what we call a short stroke. The short stroke is where instead of opening the presses all the way up, we barely move them just far enough away so that the product can go right on through. This is great for increasing speeds and keeping heat onto the film as you're wanting to form it. We put a confirmation station into our loading zone strictly for an auto loading. What that does is it's almost like a die that comes up to the machine and uses vacuum to actually open up the pocket so that a robot or any automatic loading device can place the products directly onto the package with it being open. We also have a manual loading station here for rework and things of that nature. You'll see that we let the operator know when the light is white that it's good to go through, but in the event that a rejected index comes through, we end up alerting the operator with a red light to know that they should not load into this particular place. We also integrate with various third-party equipment. We're using web aligners as well for our top web to keep it going directly into a printing system. The printing system is very important that the web is lined in there correctly 100% going through any other third-party items that you are in need of. This particular printer is a UV cured printer for a medical application. We also use vision systems to check what is placed into the pocket. So if you're looking for items A, B, and C, the vision system can tell you that all those are in there and in the correct order. And if they're not, we can send a reject through the PLC and track that through the system and call that a rejected part going out the end of the machine and then it will not be processed past our machine. Ceiling and final packaging prep zone. This is the ceiling head to your right here. This is used for actually putting the seals around the actual packages. So we bring up to those with the seals onto it. Some of the very impressive things we do on this particular machine is we also have load cells underneath there to verify the pressure from the seal head is exactly what you want. What that means is it's a redundant system. So we're able to change the air pressure onto the seal head with feedback from a pressure transducer to verify that we are doing what we say we're doing. Well, not only that, we want to verify that if we've changed the pressure, we want to see that going completely through the seal head. So with the load cells that are onto the bottom, which you really can't see in here, but they're approximately down inside this area, there's four different load cells and it checks to make sure that the pressure is equal all the way through. If you start seeing a difference or a variance into that, we can reject those and let the operator know that something is going on into the system, preventing the seal from being perfect. We also have a seal chill. What that's gonna do is, if you're ever trying to cut through something, it's much easier to cut when the product is actually cooled. Once it's hot, it kind of gums up. With us using like a razor knife to cut through these, we chill all the seals around it for a much easier, cleaner cut. Again, just like the forming, the ceiling has hinge tooling, so it's easy to be able to get in there to see everything that's going on. In the event that you have to change gaskets, This is a unique feature right here that we are using. It's an extra printer. What we do in the event that there is a reject from downstream, meaning from the forming or one of the vision systems have said something wrong, well, the printer actually constantly will print a barcode onto this particular package. Obviously, you can't see that here. We just have the OSID logos onto that. But in the event that there is a reject, not only is the machine tracking a reject, the machine is also going to print a black mark over top of the barcode, meaning that the barcode is unable to be read in further down the line somewhere. So in the event that it does get through for any reason whatsoever, that is a redundant thing to verify our package is a failure all the way through. What we're seeing at the top there is also a cross cut. Cross cut is literally just 
a series of tooling put together with razor blades on the end of it. You'll see that we are only coming down onto the back side over here once it closes and running in this direction. The reason we do that is because down in here it is sealed real nice and pretty so we know we're never going to snag onto the paper top. On this end, which we're going to see here in a little bit, this is going to be an open end. This is where the product is actually peeled from. So if we were to take the razor blade this direction, we have a chance of unpeeling it from the product. Here we have a score cut going through the machine. What we're doing right now is, as I told you earlier, that they would be opening from this particular side of the package. So what we need to do is we need to be able to pull this up and actually cut the bottom web out from over it and allow the folded portion to actually stick out further than the nylon portion. So what we're gonna do is we're going to flip the paper up and we're gonna cut the nylon from the bottom. And then we're gonna bring it back down through here. And you'll see here in a moment, we have a tuck and fold. Basically, we're going to take the product, we're gonna put it down there, we're gonna seal it just like an iron so that it's nice and pretty so it's easy for someone to open. Here you'll see a side view of the fold crease. You'll see how the top comes down does a great job and holds that down. And then we use this side over here to actually crease the product so that when they go to open it, they flip it with their finger and literally the two pieces come apart very simple. Very similar to forming, we have servo actuated presses. Same thing, same speeds and everything that we could use down in forming as well. Another unique thing we had to figure out was you have scrap coming from the chains. Literally, if you kind of see down in here, you will see that there's actually scrap into there. So what we had to do is in the event that we talked about the whole machine being totally box guarded. So we had to be able to bring the scrap out. So we actually used small little vacuum right here to actually suck the plastic out so that we could wrap it up from the outside where you'll see. Our scrap rewind system is done with servos. They are set to a certain torque so that there is no danger whatsoever. Also, as you can see, same type of thing. We have sensors to let the operator know when the scrap is full as well. We have a very intuitive HMI. Several, we, we, can, we can do this HMI in any way that you're really looking for. We try to do a very simple one so that it's very easy for maintenance. We can do definitely different levels. We can go for an operator level, we can go for a maintenance level, engineering level, admin level, whatever you're required to do to be able to turn certain things on and off. Our standard control system is Rockwell. If uh, you need something else, we're more than willing to do that. We have done pretty much all of them. But as you'll see, everything is done here at Austin. It is all engineered and built in-house. And here is the final product as we're seeing. Again, these are sample products for Ossid, not necessarily for a customer, but just to kind of show you an example of what the 8000M is capable of. Our 8000M, we can totally engineer this to anything that uh, you need. If you have any questions, please feel free to use the chat, type them in and let us know and we'd be glad to answer them. Appreciate your time. Thank you very much.